What's going on, brothers? Just let me tell you the name. Got another video for you. It's written a title. Dating Coaches and Mike Oliver. Here goes. Shout out to Kid Organic, KS, and MBD for weighing in on this topic. I figured I'd go ahead and add my two cents to it, so check this out. So, now that news is broke of one Mike Oliver from France, who went to Kenya, slept with over a thousand women, Kenyan women, but word got out that he was HIV positive. Which pretty much means that he was practicing biological warfare. No different than Jason Roger Pope did in South Carolina when he slept with black women and black girls and his partner in crime was a black female. Now, of course, the denizens of Shea Butter Twitter and the inhabitants of Swirl Mountain did not talk about this. They swept under the fucking rug because they have an agenda to push. But it's to their detriment. But it goes like this. You notice that this HIV positive character from France, Mike Oliver, he did not need a dating coach to fly his ass down to Kenya and have sex with over a thousand women. He did not need a dating coach. Have you noticed that? So it goes to show you right there that for the most part, dating coaches are exactly what brothers with their soul have been saying they are. Frauds. They're peddling fraud. Dating coach, dating coaching is a scam. But the bitch made simps, the male hyenas, and the hopeless mansion of butt plugs who are thirsty for twat validation will shell out money to these dating coaches. And they basically have to clown themselves or come up with a facade so that women will have sex with them. And for you brothers who are, have taken a red pill, you brothers who have gone your own way, you know that Barbarossa said years ago that when it comes to these P-ways, dating coaches, and them getting laid, when it comes to women, they didn't fuck you, they fucked the facade that you fed them. He was absolutely right. They're lying to women to get laid. They're making themselves out to be something that they're not. But not Mike Oliver. Mike Oliver did not need a dating coach. He just had to be white. And that's how it is. For the denizens of Swirl Mountain and all these Cleon bitches who have Stockholm Syndrome. It does not matter if the white man that they're sleeping with is HIV positive, as long as he's white, they're okay with it. That's fucking sad. And it also breathe, brings light to what David Carroll said long ago. He said that when it comes to these black women, they'd rather be the white man's whore than to be your wife. That goes for you bitch-made simps, you male hyenas, and you pro X who never shut up about the black woman being God. This is what you came for. This is who you're trying to save. You guys are idiots. You guys make yourselves look stupid. You're laboring in vain. Yeah, I said it. You're laboring in vain. The women that you're trying to cape for, the women that you're trying to save, do not like you. They can't stand you. Hell, even women back on the constant don't like you. They're, they have Stockholm Syndrome. To them, their idol is white men. And they're willing to sleep with HIV-positive white men to get their brownie points. It's, it's really sad. It's really fucking sorry. And then you go to his page on social media where when he goes back to France... He put in a caption, mission accomplished or mission complete. In other words, the only reason why he went to Kenya to fuck a thousand black women is to practice biological warfare. See that? And these Cleon bitches fell for it. It's really sad. 
It's pathetic. But if you are a black man worth your soul, if you have eyes and ears to hear, and you refuse to cape for this pathology, you refuse to wife up any of these women when they decide that they're ready to settle down, they're ready to try to crawl back up under a black man for protection, then somehow you're a self-hater. You black, we black, your mama black, yeah, fuck all that. If you're HIV positive and you are basically a jump off roadkill, then nah, sit the hell away from me. It's too late in the game for this shit. And for you brothers out there who are calling this out, more power to you. You are the only ones calling this out. You brothers who have eyes to see, ears to hear. You brothers who have taken the red pill going your own way. You brothers who are putting yourself in a situation of maximum safety and advantage that goes for your SYSBM brothers. More power to you. You're the only ones talking about this shit. The rest of them, they're oblivious to it because they put pussy on a the pedestal. They're bitch made simps. They're male hyenas. And if they end up getting infected with HIV, then it's because of their lack of foresight. It is what it is. I know it sounds brutal, I know it sounds harsh, but that's the way it is. Men like Jason Roger Pope, men like Mike Oliver, they're practicing biological warfare. And the male, the male hyenas and Mitch May Simpson are not calling it out because they're too stuck on trying to get laid. They're too stuck on trying to get twat validation from their idol. An idol that does not like them, an idol that scapegoats them for all their fuck-ups, an idol that wants them dead. An idol that calls them bullet bags. But they don't listen. And the stiff neck will be destroyed. Whether it's by HIV or whether it's through a bullet. It is what it is. I know that's harsh, but that's where we are right now in, in these legendary bad days in the year 2020. And it's just going to get worse. Especially as we move into November. You brothers who are worth your salt, you brothers who have eyes and ears to hear, you brothers who are about your business, keep your head on the swivel and stay safe during these perilous times. More power to you. Keep doing what you're doing. Mm-hmm. This is the line of MGTOW. And that's all I got for you in this video, brothers. If you like the video, like, share, write the commentary, feel free to subscribe. If you don't visit my channel, you find a tip jar on the upper right side of the screen. That's the G Plus icon. Mm-hmm. All right, brothers, you know it's real, you know routine. Go your own way, live your own way, SYSBM. As for these Cleon bitches, the denizens of Swirl Mountain, the dregs of Shea Butter Twitter, and these STD receptacles like Mike Oliver, Jason Roger Pope, and ones who aspire to be like them, give them nothing. This has been the SYSBM PSA. More to come, brothers. Tight. See you soon.